Okay, look at that. That's such a satisfying looking texture. Like, that's just really satisfying to look at. Anyways. Yeah, man, Dare was fucking out for blood, man. They didn't want anybody doing anything. I remember I was actually in Hunter's Safety. I was actually... No, I wasn't 16. I was younger than that. I was probably like... Oh, fuck, I don't know. So I was in, like, 7th grade or 8th grade? Oh, shit. This is bad. You don't want to fuck this up. This level I might die on because it's genuinely easy to fuck this up. So... It's actually very noodly here. I don't want to miss a fucking scout fly, I'm sorry. But, um... I remember... Oh god, I can't focus with all this angry shit beeping at me. Oh, okay. So, um... Yeah, I was in Hunter Safety. And we had the most straight-edge fucking dude ever. And he... I actually asked the question because I was still of the age where I wasn't sure if I wanted to drink or not. And, um, I asked, so what happens? Because they were talking about how you should never, ever, 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 ever have alcohol, ever. And so I was like, what happens if you want to go with some friends and you, like, just want to have a beer? And I remember this clear as fucking day. And he literally... He's like this really short old boomer guy who's got, like, pink skin because he's got, like, suntan problems and shit. And he's, like, he, he's really fat. God damn it! Uh, so he's really chunky. And he... <clears throat> he looks at... He looks at me. And he's got this, like, narrow-eyed expression. Like, you know when someone's gonna say something, like, they're hesitant about? And he looks at me. And he... I can... I swear to shit you not. He said these exact words. They have resonated with me to this day. I couldn't make this shit up. He says, and I quote, The strongest thing you'll find in my cooler is Diet Coke. I'm not kidding. He fucking said those exact words. And with, uh, with straight face, fucking squinted eyes, like I had just said the worst thing ever, and that was how he responded. Strongest thing you'll find in my cooler is Diet Coke. I am not kidding. That is a real thing that happened to me when I was like that young. Oh my god. And I, I remember my dad, he actually laughed after that because my dad was sitting in because he was dropping me off. And he's like, that guy's full of shit, dude. That guy looks like he's probably got, like, at least a bottle of Jack in his fucking cooler. And I was like, yeah, dad, you're probably right. But I swear to God, that's like the level of like... So I always, here's another good one. When I was in school, I actually want to be a parent, you know? And so people, I'd be like, so what happens if you actually want a kid? And they're like, well, uh, you should always have abstinence. And I'm like, well, what if you want children? And then they're like, well, uh, you know, abstinence is the best thing. Wait, wait till you're married. It's like, okay, cool. Like, people wonder why my generation's so fucked and stupid. It's because the people before us couldn't give us any fucking concrete answers to anything. You ever think about that? I don't know, man. That's just me. So, fuck. I don't know. It was a clusterfuck growing up. <sighs> I don't know why that, that sound effect keeps happening. Anyways, this is the Yellow Sage's lab, apparently. So yeah, um, oh man, my school was just so bad about explaining shit to people. Like, it's unbelievable. Oh my god. It's about time you two decided to show up. Nice to see you, too. Do they have you mopping the floors now? There's no time for jokes, Dexter. 
Gaul and Maya kidnapped us to sap our energies to power their abominable machine. It appears they have combined the functional remains of a precursor robot with scavenged artifacts from across the land. Then they added a few diabolical additions of their own, creating the one thing capable of opening the dark eco silos. If you can free the four of us, we can use our combined powers to break the force shield surrounding the robot before they use it to destroy the world. So, yeah. But like I said, man, I... It's a miracle I even grew up in the way I did, because... Oh, God. Drugs were, were, like, a huge problem. I mean, they are a huge problem still in Oregon. But, like, you know, there's got to be better ways to, like, educate children about shit like drinking. Because this is the other thing. I, I remember, like... So, I never drank, but I'm, I'm the kind of asshole that likes to ask questions like this because I think it's funny. I mean this in an actually honest-to-god way here. Oh, fuck. So, when I was in driver's safety, I actually... I posed the question. I was like 18 or something. I don't know how old I was. 17 or 18. And, uh... God bless the guy that was doing the presentations and everything. He was a really good instructor. But I, I said... Because they're talking about drinking and driving, which is obviously a big no-no. You don't do that at all. There's no excuse. Um, especially in this day and age. Holy shit. Like, so, essentially, he was, like, explaining how, like, drinking and driving works. And I said, so, because I was actually a pretty smart kid, and I actually questioned this because I question pretty much everything I hear... Unfortunately, but, um, he was saying how, um, I can't remember, like, blood alcohol levels, whatever, and then he basically concluded it by saying, if you drink any alcohol at all, you're, you're drunk, and I'm like, well, that's not correct, because if your blood alcohol level is a certain level, then you're not actually drunk, and he's like, well, anytime you drink any alcohol, period, when you're driving, I'm like, yeah, but how do you... How do you, uh, like, off, if you have a beer, you're not drunk, you have alcohol in your system, but you're not technically drunk, right? Like, that was my point. And he kind of got a little pissy at me, but I'm like, no, it's true, dude, if you're, if you're not actually drunk. So if, if you drink a beer, and then you go and do whatever... How long is it till the beer wears off, technically, I guess, is what I was trying to get at. And he couldn't give me an answer, and I'm like... If you drink a beer and you get pulled over and they, they breathalyze you, what's the point? You're gonna get fucking carded or whatever, you know? But, you know, it's, it's one of those things that's like, when you hear it, it may sound stupid how I'm trying to explain this, right? So, okay, let's say I drank a beer, alright? Let's say I drank a beer, I don't drink at all, but let, let's say I drank a beer. Am I allowed to drive? If I wait, like, two hours, am I allowed to drive? There's no definitive answer. Like... To any of these questions and it, it really bugs me. Maybe it's because I'm obsessive compulsive and a lot of the shit that goes through my head just makes me question things way too much. Like, oh fuck. Um, like to me there's always some sort of ulterior motive. That also might be because of trauma. But um, you know, okay so let's say you drank uh, a beer and you wait four hours. You fucking sit there and you become the pinball wizard. If God damn it, I gotta stop doing that. It doesn't work. I don't know why I keep trying it. Um, so, if you're... Okay, you're the pinball wizard for like four fucking hours, okay? Can you drive? Are you, are you allowed to drive after that? Is that okay? Like, can you function? Is, is that considered okay? If you drink two beers and you wait six hours and you're... Are you still drunk? Because they're like, oh... It, 
beer stays in your system for 24 hours. And I'm like, everything stays in your system for 24 hours. You can't bullshit somebody that was in fucking chemistry and got an A in it as an elective choice. Okay, that's not, that's not how chemistry works. Like, okay. So, if the alcohol, the alcohol, if the alcohol decays, what is the speed based on your metabolic rate that a beer can be consumed and you can do normal functions, right? That's what I'm trying to get at. Like, there was no clear answer because they just said don't drink ever. And I'm like, well fuck, what if I do drink and I want to know what I'm doing and I actually don't have a method of getting back? What am I legally allowed to do and how long do I wait? And they couldn't give me an answer and it really burns the shit out of me. It's stuff like that that actually makes me angry because it's like, okay, there's got to be some fucking basic, like, math chart because there's a fucking thing that shows you how, like, alcohol affects people. What about the decay? How long does it stay in your system? That's my point, right? You don't just stay drunk 24 fucking 7. The alcohol's in your system. It goes out when you pee. Like, technically, after it's filtered through your kidneys and your liver. That's how science works, right? So, what the fuck? Why... Why could no one ever give me a solid, concrete answer as to how... Like, much time needs to pass before you can continue to be a normal human being in society? And I'm not saying, by the way, you should just drink and drive. That's fucking irresponsible and stupid. But if you were, let's say you're just with a friend and you drink one shot of the weakest piss water whiskey you've ever had in your life, are you drunk? Are you allowed to drive? It, I know I'm making it sound like a muddied issue, but it really bothers the hell out of me. Like, this genuinely doesn't make sense. I'm dead serious, that fucking shit never... Oh, it just really gets on my nerves. It's not even the worst example I can think of, too. Ugh. So yeah, that, you see why it really, really creeps me out? Okay, here's another good example of my roundabout fucking weird thinking. So, okay, when I was in school, I've probably actually used this example on the channel before, but I'm gonna go- This is why I'm like, you know how much it really actually sucks to have real OCPD? So, okay, when I was in school, they told us, you know, if you- if you're married, You'll just never have STDs. I'm not even exaggerating. If you're married and you use condoms and birth control, you will always never, ever, 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 ever have STDs. Because... Logic, right? Now, that's bullshit. Obviously. Oh, shit. What is, what is texting me? Oh, it's just a thing about my internet bill being paid soon. That's nice. Um... Okay, this is one that's really annoying to me. So, STDs are generated how? What generates an STD? Don't be like, oh, it comes from sex. Well, no shit, that's why it's called a sexually transmitted disease. My point is, what causes things like fucking chlamydia or crabs? Okay, crabs are actually lice, so that's... I can kind of understand where that one comes from. You know, you... You get, like, your junk bit by something that's... I've already been here. Um, so, yeah, I'm not that stupid, right? Like, I know that. But okay, chlamydia, for example. Um, what creates that? Like, how does that happen in your body? Obviously, you get chlamydia from sex, right? I'm not stupid. I'm, I'm pretty well aware of that. But my point is... By the way, I've never had chlamydia. My first girlfriend did before we were together. But, um, anyways. So. I'm a horrible person, I know. Um, 
That's that's probably why that's always the go-to disease for me, actually. Um, so okay, but here's my point: What creates that in your body? Is it a fuck up between two fluids interacting with each other? Is it something like your body rejects its like immunosystems, like AIDS? Because I know how AIDS works. AIDS is an immuno response failure that causes bits of your body to start like fucking not working. Like, your immune system basically shuts off. And... But that's the thing, is chlamydia caused by... Like, what? What the fuck causes it, and how... You see what I mean? And no one ever explained this to us as kids, I just all, don't get it. Well, okay, if I can't... How do I get it? Do I just not shower for 70 years and put fucking, like, vinegar on my balls to get rid of it? How do I get rid of it? Well, like, you take medication, you know, that's pretty obvious. But my point is, okay. Ooh, that was a dumb, dumb moment. I'm sorry. Um, it's because I'm thinking about sex. Um, so, okay, right. So, okay. I'm a STD free. Jesus Christ. It's not that sentence that made me laugh. It's the fact that I associate the word something free with Chris Chan. But um. Okay, so I'm an STD-free... I, I can't say the sentence without laughing. Um, um, I gotta collect my shit. Uh, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing my shit a little bit. Um, Alright, so if you're an STD-free person... It's funny. I can't help it. Um, if you're STD-free... You're as HIV negative, right? Um, how is it that you just get chlamydia, specifically chlamydia, from unprotected sex? If the other person's STD free, what creates it? What is it? What is it in the body that creates that? Is it immunodeficiency response? What is it? Because it's I'm not looking this up, but um, my point is a teacher could never explain that. Because they basically only made it out to be that only people that have unprotected sex and are not married will develop STDs and STIs. Which is complete bullshit. My parents had STDs, but that was a different story. That's because my dad cheated on my mom and my mom cheated on my dad. So, that makes sense. But what causes it? Is it a body thing? We're not together, we're not married. Disease. I don't get it, man. You do that. <coughs> and like I said, man, I'm not dumb. I know how diseases work. But like... It, it, how? What causes it? Like, a teacher could never explain that because I think they just didn't know or maybe because they weren't allowed to tell us. Like, because to me, it basically always translated and I'm not saying I'm that stupid and I believe it. But like, when I was a young teenager, I always thought it was stupid because I'm like, okay, so if you're married and you have, okay, if you're, if I obviously knew where babies came from, I'm not that stupid, but that's a good point. How is it that people don't immediately die from STDs the moment they try to conceive a child because they have to have unprotected sex, right? By the stupid, dumb logic of like school saying you need to have abstinence and have always wear protection. Well, how is it that people can have children and not die of rampant STIs? God damn it! This is what really gets me about public education, is it needs to be improved to actually teach kids useful information and not just like, don't have the kids. Well, that's probably actually good advice. But my point is, like, if you're like me and you're like, I actually want kids, they have no response to that. Like, they didn't even have fucking family planning. You know what they told us to do? Go to college. You'll be successful forever and you'll have everything you ever want. You don't need to have children. Just go to college. 
children will happen because you went to college. Like, you wonder why my generation is so fucking finicky and angry all the time. It's because a lot of us just don't trust shit people tell us, because a lot of it's probably bullshit to us. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy, this is getting bad. So like, ugh. I mean, seriously, man, I... I know all this shit now, but like, my point is, when I was in like, grade school, and they told us, drinking alcohol equals you're gonna go to hell, not those exact words, my school wasn't allowed to say that. They had to stop kids from saying the flag salute because they thought it was too fucking whatever. But like, my point is, I don't understand why fucking public education is so poorly equipped to deal with like, you know, basic shit that kids can ask. Like, oh, little Johnny wants to know where babies come from and can he have children in the future? Tell him no! You're too young! You'll, well, obviously, yeah. But, like, no, go to college. That's terrible. That is, like, the worst advice. You know what happened to everybody my age that went to college? The pandemic hit, the country collapsed, and we all went to fucking debt. I'm not like that because I didn't go to college. So, what's that say about me? Someone had some fucking foresight for once. my green eco power with the other three sages and together we'll open the shield door surrounding the precursor robot yeah yeah that sounds like a good start and then after you guys open that shield what are you gonna do about the robot nothing daxter we have to keep the shield open it's up to you two to figure out how to destroy the robot oh great i get to help the guy that turned me into a furball Destroy the only person who can turn me back! First, save the world. Then we'll try to convince Gaul to help Daxter. You'll see my savers. But I possess limitless dark ego. I will have a key to creation itself. This is madness! Releasing that much dark ego will destroy everything we know. Just look what it's done to you! It has given us a beauty beyond anything you could understand. Beauty? Have you two looked in the mirror lately? Gaul's pretty red and Mai's pretty damn dope looking. Not gonna lie. Just wait until we open the silos, little one. You think short and fuzzy is bad. And to think you two travel all this way for my help. Fools! Yeah, we'll do that in the next one.